Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create automatic invoice using the Excel formulas. And we will not use any BBA to create the invoice. So this is the invoice data in the table format. You can see in the table design, INB underscore data table name. In this data, we have the invoice number, invoice date, the customer name, customer address, customer city, customer pin code number, then the customer GSTIN number, or you can take some other customer identification number. Then here we have the item name. Basically it is a product name. You can put your actual product name in place of simple item eight, item four. Then here we have the unit price, the quantity, then this is the subtotal. And we have the discount percentage, then we have the discount, then we have the tax percentage, then this is tax amount. In the last, we have the total amount, okay? Under one invoice number, we can have the multiple items. Let me show you, let's say this invoice number, we have here six items, okay? So this invoice date customer information will remain same, only this information will be changed because it is itemized information, all right? Now I will show you the invoice template which I have created this is the invoice template here you have to put your company information and then this is the customer information okay you just need to select the invoice number from here or you can manually input the invoice number let's say i'm selecting invoice number inb1010 automatically this customer information will be changed invoice date will be changed and this whole information item name unit price quantity total amount will be changed let me show you once again, if I select, let's say this one, then it is getting changed. If I select this one, then it is getting changed. At bottom, we have the subtotal, which is the sum of this total amount. Then we have the total discount in this invoice number, and then the total tax in this invoice number. And this is the total, the final amount, which has to be paid. In the last, we have the thank you note. This is printable invoice. If I press control P, then here you can see it is coming on single page. So you can simply take the printout. Now let's go to the data and I will show you from the scratch how we can create this invoice template in Microsoft Excel. Select this data, press control C to copy this and press control N to open a new workbook and paste that here. So this is the table again here you can see INB underscore data. So we can rename this sheet as invoice data let us create the invoice template here all right so let's go to the page layout first and we will select the portrait view which is also there and the margin you can take normal because we have the sufficient space and now we can choose these four columns and the two rows select this and use merge and center here you can put tax invoice or invoice the header basically align this center make it slightly bigger and let's take some background i'm taking this dark green and font i'm taking white select this increase the size the first column will be the item name or the product name so we can keep slightly bigger now if i press ctrl p just see all information is coming so this you can see this line here right so this is the line of the page it, this column should not go beyond this line all right now here we will put our information so i'm taking the same information we have here so let's copy this this is your information right so let's paste that here and we will select this range and then we will go to the home page merge and center and use merge across and align this right so here we will take will to okay make this bold slightly bigger and here we will put the customer information so select these four rows make it slightly bigger the row height all right now here we will take the invoice number and invoice date so put here invoice number and here put invoice date select this range make this bold slightly bigger around 11 all right now we will select this cell then we will fill here some dark color let's say this one make the font white 
and use the format painter just click here then now select these two cell press control one go to the border thick border and choose this color outline inside click on ok all right so here we will input the invoice number and here we will input the date now here we will take the item name then here we will take the unit price and quantity total amount all right now select some range let's say till here so that you can take 10 15 items in the invoice align this center center reduce the font size press ctrl 1 take this border let's take some lighter color let's say i'm taking this color or this color for the border all right now select this range background color let's say take this one font color white make this bold slightly bigger at bottom we will put subtotal then we will put discount and tax and this is total amount all right now let's delete this record actually we will take the subtotal here so subtotal will be sum of this range just enter all right let's go to the view and remove the grid lines from here now in this area wherein we will put the itemized information we will highlight the alternative rows so select this range press alt od to use the conditional formatting rule manager click on new rule and then go to the use a formula to determine which cell to format and here you can put the formula is even or is odd whatever you want so i'm putting here let's say is even and then i'm putting here row and just close the parenthesis and close this go to the format fill and let's choose this color then go to the more colors we will make it slightly more lighter let's choose this color okay click on okay 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 apply and okay so we can see our alternative row is highlighted all right now select this subtotal row and press ctrl 1 and we will select this border double line and click here take this color okay click on okay and for total also press ctrl 1 select this color double line at the bottom click on okay come to the invoice number here we will input the invoice number so let's rename this cell as invoice underscore number and just hit the enter all right now we will create the unique list of the invoice number first let's say on column i i'm just using the unique function and use here inb underscore data and we will take the invoice number column close the bracket hit the enter so we are getting here unique invoice numbers now come to this cell which is b10 to create a drop down for the invoice number press alt dl to open the data validation window and here select the list in the source just click on i1 and put has click on ok now we can see a drop down list for the invoice numbers so select any one from here now we will create a named range for this cell so here we can put invoice underscore number and just hit the enter all right now we will put the formulas to get all relevant information when we will select or change the invoice number so first we will get the customer related information we can use here xlookup or vlookup function so i am using xlookup lookup value i am taking this cell which is invoice underscore number this one comma lookup array i will use here inb data and invoice number column okay comma the return so we need here customer name i can put here inb data and customer name and close the square bracket close the bracket hit the enter we are getting here customer name we can fill down this formula till here okay in the next one i will show you let's go to the data and here first we have the customer name then address city pin and customer gstin so what i will do i'll take here next address here in the next cell and in the next formula i will take here city then i will take the pin code 
so I will put here pin and then here I need GSTIN so I will change this header to GSTIN this one in the GSTIN we can use here GSTIN as a text colon space close the inverted comma and put end so we will get this GSTIN colon as a prefix in this text all right now we need the invoice date so we can copy any of the formula from here and let us paste this here okay now in place of address we can take invoice date so type here date you will get that invoice date hit the enter so we are getting that invoice date all right now to get the items we will use the filter function so use here filter then go to the invoice data and we will select the data from item till subtotal this select this range comma include we will use the whole data of invoice number this one comma is equal to come to the invoice template and select this cell or just put equal to invoice underscore number close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting here item label information now here we can change this format to the currency so select this range press shift control 4 to show in dollars or you can use your currency format whatever you want and select this range till here and press shift control and 4 to show in dollars all right now here we are getting the subtotal and to get the discount we can use the sum if function sum if or sum ifs whatever you want we have only one criteria so we can use the sum if now the range we will take the invoice number column okay so i will use here inb data of the invoice number column and the criteria we will take the invoice number this one the name which we have created comma the sum range we will take the discount column okay so we can use inb underscore data this one and just type here discount not discount percentage just close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting here discount now we can use the same formula for the tax also just fill down in place of discount we can use the tax tax amount just hit the enter now the total amount will be subtotal minus discount plus tax that will be my total amount okay now here in the end we can put a thank you note so just select this range use merge take the let's say this gray color this one and make this bold slightly bigger and you can put here thank you or whatever you want okay and all right so this is done now if i change the invoice number let's say i'm selecting this one the everything will be changed automatically and friends this is printable invoice if press ctrl p then you can see in the proper range but we are seeing here two pages the unique invoice list is also there so what we can do we can select this range only the invoice area till here and we can go to the page layout and just set this as a print area now if i press ctrl p then we have only one page all right friends so friends that is how we can create this automated invoice system without using the bba we just have used the excel formulas friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching